Hey guys, okay. So today I have got another haul for you, but I'm also gonna try something from the haul. So I almost, I almost was going to really um, pull one over on you guys and show you all the things and then try something else that's not even in the haul. But I was like, no Holly, you can't do that. That's just me. Okay, so I've got a box of Ulta goodies and let's see, I got the new, and this is why, because it's brand new, I just saw it, the new Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. This, take a good look, this right here is light. Where are we at? I know I just saw it. The shade, where is it? I know I just saw it. Yeah, light. Please tell me, if this is light, tell me where I'm going wrong, okay? If this is supposed to be a range of makeup for darker skinned people and then this is the lightest one, fine, but don't tell me this is light. No, look at, look at, look at this. Now this is not very fair because, oh, here we go. This one's available. I was gonna say, I've got one that's light that's not any, available anymore, but this one, All May Skin Perfecting Healthy Biome Makeup in the shade Fair. That's light. This is not light. No, it's not. My little daughter was in here a little while ago because she wanted to see all my makeup stuff that I got. And I said, I was like, whoa, this is light. And she was like, hey, that's as dark as me. And she's much, she's much darker than me. She's a brown skinned girl. Um, and she is very brown, especially after she's been playing outside and we went to Florida and the whole thing. She's very brown. This is about the exact right shade for her. It might be even a little bit too dark for her. And she's very brown. Anyway, this is not light, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, yes, we are. Okay. I got this, the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer with hyaluronic acid is waterproof, so we'll see. Now, oh, 18 hours of hydrating. Okay, well, we'll just see. This is in the shade uh, 32 Neutral Biscuit. Okay, can you see that? Okay, um, the problem I have with a lot of Catrice products is that they burn my eyes. There was another concealer that they had and I was all excited about it, burned my eyes into oblivion, it was terrible. So take that into consideration when you're watching videos and stuff. And I usually try to tell people what the problem is. And a lot of times it's just they burn my eyes. It's not necessarily that the concealer is bad. Sometimes it is bad and it burns my eyes, but a lot of times it's like, if you've got sensitive eyes, this is not for you. So I don't know about this one, so we'll try that and see. Um, this, I think I've done this one, so I might, I'm, I don't even think I'll uh, crack into it. I'm going to um, check back my videos, but this is the Pacifica Ultra CC Cream Radiant Foundation. I feel like I've tried this. They said it was new on Ulta though, like it popped up in new releases. I don't think it is. I think they just lie. I think they just, kind of recycle some of the things so you're like wow a new product I'm gonna get that but it's not new at all so I'll check back through and I'll, I won't open this that way they can have their product back in you know perfect condition and maybe be able to resell it so we'll try that and that that one I got in the shade warm light because I am a little bit darker these days lady <laughs> okay this I am so excited about this is the lust for dusk um color pop eyeshadow palette now I will say that I was so excited about this because the pictures online looked amazing. And it's not that they're not, um, these colors are not amazing. They're just not as amazing as they looked online. They're still good though, and I will still use them. And I'm sure I have all these colors already, but look at these gorgeous purples. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. Like they're so beautiful. So I'm sure I will get a lot of use out of this. We'll see, like I've got a million eyeshadow palettes. Do I need another one? No, not at all, but oh my goodness. I just couldn't pass it up with all these dusky oh my goodness they're so beautiful so got that and the last thing well second to last this is the kiko milano um full coverage two-in-one foundation and concealer i had this has been in my cart for weeks um ever since i saw it be a new release on the ulta website and because i have purchased so much makeup i was like i can't do another one but then i was like this new one came out and I was like, well, I'm gonna buy it anyway. I might as well just pop this into my cart as well. And I'll just give you a shot of this. I haven't tried any of the Kiko stuff. This might even be too light for me now, even now. It's pretty fair. Um, it's WR01. Doesn't give you like a shade name. That is just a number. WR01, I'm sure it's gonna be too light. But I mean, check this out, ladies. Which one of these is light to you? Okay. Now, I didn't plan this, but I had $93 worth of products in my cart, which I purchased. So they were like, oh, we'll give you a free gift. And I was like, oh, that's so kind, you guys, you guys. 
So they gave me this, the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner. And I was like, oh, I love those. I've been wanting to try one. Well, I don't love them. I don't know. I've been wanting to try them for a while. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. So I opened it up and I was like, oh, look at that shade. Woo, girl. I was like, mm, that's going to be good. I opened it up and I was like, oh, look at that lip liner. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. That's right up my alley. Look at this thing. Can you see that? This has been sitting on the shelf for like five years. Look at it. It's like, it's gone. It's like not even, it is, it's moving around in the packaging y'all. It's not even a liquid anymore. Look at that. So I will ask you, should I try to take this back and return it and say, be like, give me a good one y'all. Like if you're going to give me a free gift after I spent $93 in your shop and you're going to be all like, here's a free gift. Why don't you give me a good one? I don't know. Could I do that? Or is that like, too entitled <laughs> like it was a free gift don't cry about it the lip liner's fine like no problems there I'll use that absolutely but why why would you do that to me like I was excited I wanted to use this anyway all right let's get to it ladies here we are now you guys let me know in the comments if you've heard anything about this I have not heard anything about this um it says turn red collar there's no red collar they're such liars uh slowly left until product appears oh okay and remove okay here we go they probably forgot that they were repackaging this and it's a pink color now not a red one okay so this is the maybelline instant age rewind perfecter four-in-one glow makeup Primer, concealer, highlighter, BB cream. Okay. Primer, concealer, highlighter, BB cream. Okay. So it's not, I mean, I, I guess maybe that's to say that it's not going to be offering me very much coverage. Okay. Uh, benefits of four products in one step. Makeup result. Instant perfected glow look. Brightens, conceals, imperfections, highlights, even skin tone with light coverage. Okay. So there we, now we know. Um, this is going to be a light coverage product. So a good summertime product, I assume, is what they're trying to um, offer here, which I'm fine with. Like, as long as you're going to tell me, if you're not going to claim something that is not true, you won't hear a peep out of me. Okay, it's coming up very slowly. But it is coming up. Now, I've tried the original Instant Rewind. I've got a video on it somewhere, so if you want to take a look at that. I have playlists of all my foundations by brand which uh, forgive me if I pat myself on the back but I have wanted people to do that for years and I I'm sure other people have thought of it because I'm not some sort of genius but uh, of the people that I've been watching nobody does that so anyway um okay so here we are there's your product now to be perfectly honest it doesn't look ridiculously dark I mean it just it really does in the jar though um especially compared to like all my other ones like I've got other foundations here, um, you know, this one, for example, you know, I don't know that it just seems remarkably dark for being a light. Maybe I'm just confusing light with fair. Anyway, let's just do it. No, that's really dark. Um, unfortunately, this looks like exactly the correct shade when you just dab it on like that. But what is going to happen is it's going to match all my, um, discoloration which is that's what we're trying to hide <laughs> that's not what we're trying to match to so anyway let's just do it honestly looking pretty good so far does seem glowy feels nice it's really glowy I don't know if you can see that or tell Yeah, very, very glowy. It's making me look kind of greasy. If you are very dry skinned and you like a really glowy foundation, this may be your girl. Um, I'll put in the description what it cost. I cannot remember. It wasn't very much. It's, it's a Maybelline, so it's not too much, but it might be a bit more than what I would be willing to pay. It looks really pretty, actually. I probably just could use a shade lighter, honestly. Um, 
I don't know honestly if I can even get away with it even right now. I'm gonna put a little bit extra around my eye just so we can kind of see, gauge the coverage. I'm gonna use a different brush just so that I'm not pulling and tugging my eye area, which I have a tendency to do. Okay, so I feel like this would be really good if you're looking for the really natural coverage, but um, honestly, it's reminding me of this, the Purito Healthy Looking Glow Flawless Coverage UVA UVB Protection Cica Clearing BB Cream. This one. This one that's like people are, you know, raving, ranting and raving about. And this is very similar to this flower beauty get real so if you don't like the shade of this one this is very similar to it um so that's what it's reminding me of now right now it's doing something to my eyes like it feels it feels a little bit burny but also almost cooling like a menthol like that's what it's feeling right now around my eyes and just on my skin however I'll, I'll try the other side and we'll just see. This brush is a little bit rough. Um, so it could be, that could be the problem, but I don't think so because like, I can feel something going on with my eyes with this product right now. I had nothing on my skin before, but moisturizer. So it's not anything else. It can't be anything else but this product. I don't know if you can tell like coverage. Yeah, you can tell between eyes. But I mean, if this is what you're looking for, it's not bad. I mean, if, if you're looking for this shiny, glowy, to me, this feels greasy. Like it doesn't, well, let me rephrase that. It doesn't feel greasy, it just seems greasy. But if you're looking for this beautiful, like glowing skin look, you may really like this. Let's do the other side and we'll just even ourselves out. Um, I mean, you can you can see that it's like, practically the exact color of my skin but what I'm going to tell you ladies and now my face is going to be darker than my neck and I know you can't tell on camera but this is too dark for my neck even with all my even with all the sun that I got um on my vacation this is too dark for me I can probably I'll probably be able to get away with it because it's so sheer that's the same problem I have though with the Sika clearing BB cream just too dark and it's like outright straight up gray it the the shade of it does change to a more natural skin like shade but still not skin like enough for my skin my undertone is not gray beige it's more of a peachy beige and or yellow I can get away with peachy more than I can get away with gray gray just makes me look like a dead body going to remove this little bit that I have right here yeah and even like the way that it's wiping off you can just tell that the pigment is very light so I'm gonna be able to get away with this probably so even though I've got church tonight so people are gonna be seeing me and stuff and I'm not gonna change my foundation unless it starts getting real weird so that it's just unwearable and I'll ask my husband and stuff what he thinks and if it's sometimes I you know sometimes I can't tell how weird I look but other people sometimes can just have a different perspective especially people that don't see it very often okay so let's get a close-up of our pores and stuff and we'll talk about that and then we'll be done okay let me grab a mirror could I find a mirror that would be great if I could all right here we go all right, so I will just say, first impression, my face to the mirror, it looks really pretty. Um, it's just a bit shiny for me. Like, this is not my preference. This is too shiny. If you love glowy makeup, you will probably love this. This is a problem that I have usually. Like, this is a problem area. Um, it looks like it's, it's filling up my pores a tiny bit. Not terrible, though. I've had worse. And this time, actually, this side is worse than this side. Might have been I put more product on the side, not by much, but just a little bit more because there was a lot on the sponge when I applied it. Um, so that could be a factor. I feel like I'm evened out enough, um, but 
I mean, it's not light enough at all. Like, this is probably three to four, maybe five shades too dark for my normal skin tone, which is right there. You see that? You see how, like, I'm a white girl, y'all. Like, white girl. And my face doesn't ever look like this. My face looks more like this color, usually. But even now, I'm a little bit darker than I normally am. But even for my tan skin, this is still like one shade too dark for my tan skin, but that's the lightest shade. So if you are a bronze golden goddess, this is your girl. If that's what you want, that's what you're looking for, this is your girl. It's, it looks, I can tell people are gonna really like this, if, especially if they love glowy makeup. It's too glowy for me, personally, but as far as just the product goes, I think it's doing what it says, which is glowing. Uh, concealer, no, like you can't, how are you gonna have a concealer when it tells you it's light coverage? Um, is it buildable? I don't think much, like I'm gonna put a little bit more. This will be the third layer for this eye. And I just don't think it's, it's being that buildable. A little bit. A little bit, but how are you how are you gonna say this is a concealer if it's light coverage and it tells you it's light coverage? Like it claims to be a light coverage. Uh it might be looking a bit more looking like it has a bit more coverage because of the light reflection. But I just think it's just too glowy for me. I'm just gonna look like a grease ball. Like it's it's just not gonna work. If you have really dry skin or again you really love glowy foundations. It's not bad, and if you have a, I would say medium down. I don't even think a light girl could pull this off. It's just not light enough for light. Medium and down, not bad. And I mean, <laughs> I am glowing a lot. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will continue to wear this. I will powder it. I'm going to church tonight, so I'm gonna do a full makeup. Um, it's not gonna be like a full glam, but it's gonna be full makeup, so that means powder and concealer and all that stuff, and I probably will still need to use a little bit of concealer just to but I, it, this is bothering my eyes. I can just tell you that outright right now, it is bothering my eyes. If you have very sensitive skin or very sensitive eyes, no scent. It's just something about this product is bothering my eyes. It happens all the time. There's something in cosmetics that bothers my eyes. Anyway, sorry this is taking so long. I will update my thoughts in the description. Um, I had something else to say, but I can't remember it. So I'll do it on the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe. Ding my bell. I'll see you in the next one.